An IP address doesn't usually represent a particular user. For that reason, we add very interesting information into our NetFlow, and that is the name of the actual user, so that you would be able to know who has the problem, to maybe figure out if there are any other users with the same problem, and if maybe that problem is related to their specific device or operating system. And in this demonstration, we'll show you how to do it. Let's have a look onto a great feature of Flowmon Monitoring Center called Active Devices. In here, you will find uh, information uh, about devices in your network. We use techniques of passive device fingerprinting uh, to recognize uh, different laptop servers in your network. So it could be operating system uh, that comes from HTTP communication. It could be uh, vendors of those devices. You can see we have quite a lot of uh, virtualized uh, servers in here, laptops and uh, different uh, vendors. You will see number of concurrent users uh, in the network. So as you can see, everyone has gone after business hours. Uh, you'll find also different IP families, so IPv4 or 6, uh, flow sources, which means devices, in our case, in headquarters, where I have 428 devices, uh, in some branch office, there's uh, 41, etc. And then you will find also devices distributed in different VLANs. Now, this is obviously a searchable dashboard, so let's go and see some other interval, let's say one day. In the advanced search, let's go ahead and try to look at VLAN 0, uh, hit view, and here's my data, right on click, um, and uh, as you can see, we again have different vendors here, different operating systems. We can export it to PDF, which is quite simple. And uh, what I can do is to switch into a list overview uh, where you can see uh, appearances of your devices in the list. Uh, it's quite easy again, again to do search, aggregate your data by MAC addresses, IP addresses, uh, host operating systems. And then let's try to do some operating system. Let's do Windows, because that's quite common. And then maybe choose a limit to 50, view, and there's my list right away. Uh, download it as CSV or PDF again to have the full visibility on who's active on my network. So these are active devices.